Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Balls Gadget Review channel. Today, I'm gonna review a product by Copedvic. So that's C-O-P-E-D-V-I-C, just in time for summer. It's a bug zapper model number JS39W. The company sent it, sent it over to me, so I really appreciate it. It says effective nine watt UV light, detachable collection tray, 100% defensive grid, three year warranty, which I always like to see having companies having a warranty. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see here. Voltage AC 120, input power 9 watts. Check that out. And yeah, let's open up, see what's inside. Um, I don't live in an area with necessarily lots of bugs. There are some gnats, flies, things like that. Uh, but not, it's not really mosquito country, um, which is nice actually because um, I've been to some places that you literally walk outside and you'll be covered in mosquitoes. And I can't imagine living, if you live in a, in a place like that, I mean, I, I feel for you. <laughs> because mosquitoes, I don't know how you get used to it, maybe it's bug spray, but uh, mosquitoes are just super annoying. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have many bugs, is I'm just gonna leave this outside for for a few hours and see what I collect, see if it actually works. But yeah, check this out. This is what it looks like. It's very lightweight. It has a little hanger right here. So you can hang it, let's say you put it on your front porch or something, back porch. And then you have a little light in the center, UV light. And then you have the uh, the little zap, <laughs> the metal coil there, the zapper. Uh, read the instructions before using. I'll probably do that because I don't want to get electrocuted. Um, I don't know how strong the the current is. I'm assuming it's not that much, but definitely do not want to get zapped. All right, it's got a pretty long cord actually. Check that out. And so you have a little, let's see here, VIP card. Coped Vic. Little instruction booklet here. Let me just read to you some general safety. Keep away from children. Keep away from the parts. Don't drop. The cord length is 4.6 feet. That's good to know. So the uh, it's designed to lure and kill a wide range of flying insects. Ultra UV light gives off. The outer cage protects, prevents pets, birds, butterflies, and children's fingers from contacting charge grids. For best results, the unit should be installed in a night, in the night, and left on continuously throughout the whole day. So interesting. So they're designed to be continuously left on. Unit will not light. No apparent grid voltage. Make sure the unit is plugged in. Okay, that's uh, troubleshooting. So this appliance is not suitable for use in barns, stables, or similar lo similar, similar locations. Uh, the appliance may not be used where flammable vapor or explosive dust is likely to exist. General safety. Unplug before cleaning. Keep away from the grid. All right. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory how to clean. So it has a little brush, let me just show you that. So definitely, obviously unplug this thing when you clean it. Always keep the ventilation safety slots on the front of the rear appliance clear from blockage. Damage check, always check for damage. Remove dead insects from the appliance once a week. When not in use or before cleaning, always disconnect the appliance from the main supply. So this is a, Water. Do not immerse the appliance in water and keep away from wet weather. So, yeah, it just seems like if you live in a rainy environment, um, this probably isn't the, the product for you. Um, do not use in wet hands or damp environments. Warning an electric shock hazard may exist if the water from a garden hose is directed at the insect um, product. Danger, high voltage. So disconnect and wait one minute before the maintenance, any maintenance is carried out. 
All right, so let's get this going. I'm gonna take it outside. Actually, before I begin, or show you, let me just show you this little uh, bug collecting tray that you can easily take out. But yeah, I guess first impressions, I should say, is it's plastic, you know? This is kind of that hard, shiny plastic. There isn't anything like that you would jump out as something really expensive. The only metal piece is on the inside. I do like how the, you know, it's, there's a coil and then there's a UV light, that's kind of cool. Um, and then the metal hook right here. But other than that, it's a pretty basic unit, I'd say, as far as looks and, you know, design. So you can see the light on here, but there's no sound or anything coming from it, just kind of that blue glow. All right, so it's been sitting on the deck for about two hours, but yeah, it started the rain, so I'm gonna have to unplug it. And yeah, but look at that. All right, so I left it out a couple hours, and as you can see, there's little droplets on the top of this thing. So that's a test. It was tested in the rain, pretty heavy rain, and it didn't destroy itself. So, the, you know, the manufacturer recommends not operating in, in a wet location, but just so you know, uh, you know, it was rained on and it didn't destroy itself, it was still working. So, uh, yeah, two hours passed. Let's see if we collected any bugs. This is the true test. Are there bugs in here? <laughs> and like I said, I don't live, uh, you know, in a place with very many bugs normally, but it's, I mean, it's just, which is actually a good thing, but, um, you know, I could see leaving this up in kind of the summer months in the evening when the bugs come out. So yeah, although I didn't catch any bugs, uh, basically this is just a basic model with proven technology. You know, it has the UV light, it has the coil for the bug zapper, it has a collection tray. I mean, it's kind of a no frills model. It's got the hook right here. So if you're looking for something relatively inexpensive, I'd say go for it. Um, there's tons of designs out there. So if you're looking for something specific, I would just search around because there isn't really anything proprietary or special about this. It's very, very basic. So I would just say, you know, if you're looking for something that works and the price is right, this thing works great. But I mean, if you're looking for something specific, like a really cool design or, you know, maybe like me all metal or I don't know if it'd be all metal, but you know, more of a metal design, something that you would put out on your patio and you know, it, it would look good, then maybe you want to look somewhere else. So I guess I'm kind of on the fence on this for this thing. I would say price is the only differentiation of this thing. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive bug zapper, I'd say go for it. But if you're looking for a specific design, there's so many choices out there. So shop around a little bit. Let me know what you think. The Co Ped Vic Bug Zapper JS30-9W. Let me know, have you tried this? Uh, what do you think about this product? I do like that it has a warranty, but uh, let me know. So thanks for watching everyone. Till next time, I'll see you later.